If your fan is experiencing vibration problems, I'm sorry. It's not very fun to go through vibration issues. Fans do ship from the shop having been balanced, but sometimes in the field you can encounter vibration. These are some common reasons for why there's vibration in the field. We'll talk about some ways that maybe you can mitigate them. Number one, material buildup on the wheel. We see this one quite commonly. If you've misfit an application with a fan that has the capacity to build up with material, when material loads up on that wheel, you can start to get vibration problems. When that happens, really your only solution in sticking with the same fan is stopping it, waiting for everything to stop moving, locking it out, getting in, cleaning out the wheel, starting it back up. Uh, you might wa want to look into replacing a fan wheel of that type with something that can expel the material that's building up on it. Number two, the fan wheel has deteriorated. Depending on the reason for this, it could be a fan that's just 40 years old and has worn out. It could be a fan that's two years old but has had a corrosive gas coming through that's wearing out the wheel and causing the properties of the wheel to change. Due to the properties changing inside your fan housing on the wheel, you'll start to experience vibration. And again, with that, oftentimes you can just replace the wheel with a new one, maybe look at a different material if it's corroded due to corrosion. Yeah, just look at a new wheel to replace that with. Uh, number three, you may have loose fasteners. This one's actually quite common, and it doesn't take too long to fix. Just get out a drill, fasten down all those fasteners, and sometimes you'll see the vibration go away. This is especially noticeable in the vertical region. If your vibration is on the vertical side of your bearing, a lot of times it can be due to the fasteners at the base of the fan not being secure enough to the floor. Number four, there could be misalignment in your drive components. Now this one could be tricky, especially if you don't have a laser to align things, but if you have a straight edge and you have a way to align, it's possible that during a change out sometime along the way, maybe you're replacing some parts in your fan, you put them back together and you didn't have alignment. Misalignment produces vibration. So to fix that, it needs to be aligned. Take your straight edge to it, figure out how to align your bearings, your shaft, if your shaft into a coupling, your coupling to the motor, and make sure that your drive is aligned. Number five, it's possible that your bearings are defective. So defective bearings, you can start to get metal on metal if there's no grease in the bearings. If the grease has broken down and you've got bad grease in the bearings, you can start to see bearings fail. When bearings fail, that's usually detected through vibration. Your fan's no longer running smoothly. If the bearings are defective, they need to be replaced, both of them. Number six, your fan could be operating near a system critical speed, or it could be in the stalling or unstable region of the curve. And when I'm talking about the stalling, unstable region of the curve, we're really referring to a curve like this, the region that's right here. That's the unstable region, and you could be having surge due to that region, and it, it really manifests itself in vibration. So if you're getting vibration due to that issue, uh, that could be a more serious issue that requires a look at your entire fan in the system. While you're operating there, that could be a little bit more challenging to fix. It could be as simple as opening up a damper. It's possible damper's closed too much and you've pushed yourself too far to the left. But that also will reveal itself in vibrations. Final common thing we see that produces vibration is that the fan is operating in or near a resonant frequency. Again, your resonant frequencies are going to be anywhere in that zero to 60 hertz band, it could be greater than 60 hertz, where you're just operating at a specific frequency that's not good for the, for the wheels design in the fan. And so you need to make sure if you're having vibration due to that, that you avoid those frequencies that are exciting your fan and causing vibration. Basically, this is a list of some very common vibration problems, hopefully some ways you can navigate fixing them and getting your fan back in good operating health so it can run for a long time.